Hello everyone, Dr. Benaduce here. In this video, I will talk about dural venous sinuses, brain ventricles, and some of the brain inner structures in the half head model. So let's get started. We can identify here the superior sagittal sinus. Then here you have the straight sinus, which is basically on top of the cerebellum, right? So here you have the straight sinus. This is the choroid plexus. The choroid plexus is a network of blood vessels, a vascularized membrane where our CSF, the cerebral spinal fluid, is produced. Here you have the corpus callosum, which communicates the two cerebrum hemispheres. Here we have the fornix. Right here you can see the interthalamic adhesion, which communicates the two thalami. So the interthalamic adhesion, inter is between, thalamic refers to the thalamus, and adhesion is what adheres the two thalami. So you have, you need to keep in mind that the two thalami, between them you have the third ventricle. And the only way the two thalami can communicate is if you have a bridge between them. And this bridge is referred as the interthalamic adhesion. So if this is the interthalamic adhesion, this structure that you see down here is the thalamus. And the empty space you would see around the interthalamic adhesion because the interthalamic adhesion would come out and the empty space would be the place where you find the third ventricle. Now, this here going back up, this is the septum pellucidum. Because what happens is that the two lateral ventricles we have, they do not communicate. So we have a lateral ventricle on the right cerebrum hemisphere and one lateral ventricle in the left cerebrum hemisphere. And between them, we find the septum pellucidum. The two lateral ventricles, they do not communicate to each other because we have the septum pellucidum, but they both communicate with the third ventricle that's between the two thalami. Between the lateral ventricle that would be behind the septum pellucidum and the third ventricle, we have here the inter ventricular foramen. So this area that you would see here is a foramen, is a hole between the lateral ventricles and the third ventricle that would be here basically coming out of the model on top of the thalamus, right? And then here after the thalamus we have the cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of midbrain. And the aqueduct of midbrain communicates the third ventricle with the fourth ventricle that is between the cerebellum and the pons. And after the fourth ventricle, we have the central canal that goes all the way down. 